my deepest motivation is to sort of connect with people, and people typically don't think that they can connect with art. They think, oh, art is above my head, or art is pretentious, or whatever. And then when they see, like, oh, by reading it more closely, we can kind of understand how is it significant for us today. For this project, the pedagogical opera essentially means an opera read closely or an opera taught. Rather than going through the same old motion of another production of The Magic Flute, because it's one of the most popular operas ever, what does it mean to study it? You're running a magnifying glass over the distinctions and the levels and the layers, and you hear it so much richer. So there's something about hearing it being learned that like opens it up in this other way. One, and. It was very serendipitous how I wound up working with a youth orchestra, but I think that the significance of this choice reflects my interest in trying to speak to a broader audience. Good, good, good. Let's keep measure 18 very short. First it's not just violence. an ephemeral uh, way of showing this music. It's a video, so it's, it's going to be shown around the world. And not like how operas are usually shown. Mozart was a genius, but not all of us can get it to his brain, and we're very blessed to have Frances inspiring us all with her wanting to tell everybody and show everybody what it really means. Yes, and now 302 downbeat, yeah? Here we go. One, and. We have a PhD student who is rewriting the opera to take the brass and woodwinds out of the full orchestral accompaniment and incorporate that complexity of sounds into just the strings, and then to take the vocal parts and to give them to woodwinds. My name is Daniel, and for the magic flute, I'm Pamina. I'm representing a woman, so I guess more of a higher feminine, like playful type character is Pamina, so I, I think that's probably why they gave it to the flute. My name is Kahela Rapola, and I'm playing the part of Papageno in the Magic Flute. He's just kind of the comical character, and he really wants to find love, and he's just struggling. To take the singing out, that's the sort of formal innovation or whatever, or decision that I made about this opera. So it's essentially taking a libretto and putting it on the screen. That's what I was trying to do is like foreground the narrative because that is such a big part of it. And because a lot of people know the magic flute and you're like, well, what's it about? And they're like, I don't know. So I was like, after you see my movie, I hope that you could say what the magic flute is at least about. I think music brings uh, joy to people, and especially for the kids when they feel that they're part of something, they sit next to their colleagues, their friends, and they make music together. When you get exposed to kids who are learning about art in a real way, it's like, oh my god. They're so hungry and smart and alive. Are we going to 160? OK, good, OK. About 160. You know, they're playing music, and that's the universal language. Uh, you've got every race in there. You've got all, uh, different ages in there, all in one room, having a great time. And all I have to do is sit in the booth and make it sound great. It already sounds great. I just don't make it come out on the, on the tape, you know. It's fun. It's cool to be in a studio, it's cool to record. They're really experienced people and they know what they want and you just have to do your best to try to give that. The music that I'm playing is stuff that I'll be researching and playing for the rest of my life as a musician.
I'm actually also a mentor at my music school and it's just so wonderful to like pass down your knowledge to someone younger or someone who doesn't have as much experience as you and I think this opera kind of showcases the magic of teaching. Understanding that there is a sort of joy in sharing deeper thought is so impactful for students. The message of the Magic Flute is that music has an emancipatory power to fuel human vitality. It is really, truly magical in that way. Thank you.